Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station and Telenmir TV. We are pleased to extend to you our sincere congratulations on the Holy Forty Fast, hoping that God will bring it back to you with goodness and happiness and show us the joys of His glorious resurrection. Now let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis appoints Father Jamal Khadr and Father Rafiq Nahra auxiliary bishops of the Latin Patriarchate. A training workshop on the Synod organized by the Catholic Church in Jabal al Hussein. Brother Tariq Swais is a new evangelical deacon on the altar of the Lord. We also have His Beatitude Raphael Sacco sent a message to the Roman Catholic Archbishop of Kiev. Welcome back. After reciting the Angelus, His Holiness Pope Francis saluted the faithful gathered in St. Peter's Square and said, After Ukraine became a martyr of the horrific war that is raging and killing children, innocents and civilians, we prayed to the Virgin Mary to stop the destructive aggression before it turns cities into cemeteries. His Holiness continued saying, In the name of God, listen to the cries of the suffering and stop the bombing and attacks. Focus in a real and decisive way on the negotiations and on safe humanitarian corridors. In the name of God, I ask you, stop this massacre. The Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem expressed its deep thanks to His Holiness Pope Francis for appointing two auxiliary bishops for the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem, Father Jamal Khadr in Jordan and Father Rafiq Nahra in Galilee. The announcement ceremony was held in the house of the Latin Patriarchate in Jerusalem in the presence of His Beatitude Patriarch Pierre Battista Pizzabella and a group of bishops, priests and clergymen. And it came in a letter to His Beatitude that both bishops were born and raised in the East and provided priestly service for many years and added in his letter, The earthly Jerusalem and the heavenly Jerusalem are united in prayer and celebration for our two brothers who are elevated to episcopal dignity. And I ask Almighty God, through the intercession of our Mother, the Virgin Mary, to bestow abundant blessing upon them. On this occasion, Dr. Basima Sam'an, the Regional Director of Nursat Satellite in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine, and the team raised the highest sentiments of congratulations, praying to the Almighty God to support the new bishops with the service of souls for the good of the Church and the greater glory of God. Coinciding with the launch of the procession of the Synod of Bishops, which is scheduled to be established in the year 2023, the General Coordination Office of the Synod of Catholic Bishops in Jordan organized an induction course on the Synod within the parishes of the Jabal Hussein area in the capital Amman in order to activate the access of the Synod to become an educational principle for the upbringing of man in general and Christians in particular in all the families and all human gatherings. The symposium, which was moderated by Father Moody Hindele, pastor of St. Elias Roman Catholic Church in Jabal al Hussein, was attended by Archman Jait Bassam Shahatit and Father Zaid Habbaba, several priests and nuns and representatives of the Catholic churches in the region. At the beginning of the workshop, Father Hindele presented an overview of the Synod, its goals and outputs during the past years, calling for the need to take care of the young generation during their upbringing stages. The participants in the workshop from various parishes also talked about their activities inside the church. A few of them presented programs to develop their ideas for the church to fit in with the spirit of the General Synod that will be held in Rome next year in the presence of His Holiness, Pope Francis. The Orthodox Church celebrated the ordination of Brother Tariq Swais as an evangelical deacon by laying the hand of His Eminence Archbishop Christophorus during the Divine Liturgy that was held at the Church of the Ascension in Khalda. And during the ordination ceremony, His Eminence addressed the new deacon who bore the name of Theodorus and said, Whoever wants to follow the Savior Jesus Christ must take up his cross, be loyal to the service, entrusted and complete it with all honesty and piety and you, Tariq, must answer the call and walk like the good soldier for Christ. In turn, the new deacon confirmed that he will live up to his responsibilities and will make every effort to be a faithful soldier of Christ. Several priests, deacons, monks, acquaintances and parishioners participated in this service. His Beatitude de Chaldean, Patriarch Raphael Sacco, sent a message of solidarity to the Roman Catholic Archbishop in Kiev, wishing peace for the Ukrainian and Russian people, and said in his message, We follow what is happening in your country and feel your feelings, concerns and fears about the future, because we lived it in Iraq, a similar situation, and added, Nothing can justify the occurrence of war because it is not a solution to the problems, but rather complicates them and leaves negative effects. 
while sincere and calm dialogue between peace-loving peoples is the only way to solve problems as long as there is an opportunity for dialogue. His beatitude concluded saying, We join you and your people in prayer and hope, hoping for the return of peace in your country and the whole world. In the same context, His Eminence Dr. Ahmad al tayyib called on the leaders of the world's countries to move to stop the war in Ukraine due to its devastating effects, the collapse of the economy, waste of resources, and the spread of poverty, illiteracy, disease, and hatred. His Eminence called on world leaders to do everything in their power to contain the situation as quickly as possible, and said, Do everything in your power to extinguish the fires of war. Unite and harness your efforts to save the weak and displaced. History will remind you of the stability, justice and peace you have achieved for your peoples and humanity. The churches affiliated with the Latin Patriarchate in Jordan celebrated Ash Wednesday during divine masses interspersed with the rite of ashes scattering procedure. And that is in a reminder to them that man came from dust, and to dust he returns. The priest emphasized in their sermons and necessity of adherence to fasting and perseverance in prayer, noting that the Christian, through fasting, hardens himself. He lives the pain that Christ experienced, who sacrificed himself for the sake of salvation of humanity. The voters will head next Tuesday to vote for the provincial and municipal council elections in the kingdom and the Amman Municipality Council. Archbishop Christophorus, head of the Council of Churches in Jordan, sent a message to the faithful urging them to fulfill the national duty by exercising their electoral rights. Because of this democratic entitlement and its progress on the path of democratic homeland. And he said in his message, participation in the elections is the truest expression of our belonging to this country. With your participation, you will complete the democratic process for further development and modernization. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Pope Francis appoints Father Jamal Khadr and Father Rafiq Nahra, Auxiliary Bishops of the Latin Patriarchate. A training workshop on the Synod organized by the Catholic Church in Jabal al Hussein. Brother Tariq Swayze is a new evangelical deacon on the altar of the Lord. His beatitude Raphael Sacco sent a message to the Roman Catholic Archbishop of Kiev. For more information, please visit our website, www.nursatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.